Hello and welcome to Sensory Coding Made Easy with Dr. Jardin. So first and foremost, what is sensory coding? So basically all our sensory code really is, is trying to understand how the neurons in our brain activate to stimuli in our outside environment that we sense. So for instance, if we see a tree, which neurons activate if we see a car driving down the street, which neurons activate. So the reason why um, this is brought up here is that we don't know exactly how this works. And there's three main hypotheses to understand how this works. And they are specificity coding, population coding, and sparse coding. So first and foremost, specificity coding. So basically the idea for specificity coding is that there's a single neuron that recognizes each thing. So for instance, there would be a neuron that would recognize my dog Sullivan in my brain, and there would be another neuron that recognizes my mom Susan in my brain. And this is probably the least likely to be true uh, of the different theories. But anyway, here's one of the hypotheses. The next one is population coding. And basically what this suggests is that there's a large number of neurons and these neurons will activate in a specific pattern and that'll let us know what it is that we're looking at. So basically there would be a large amount of neurons that would activate. Some would activate in a very excitatory fashion. So they would just activate again and again and again, and some in a less excited fashion, but a lot of neurons would be involved in the process. And the third and final hypothesis is called sparse coding. And basically this is the idea that for each thing that we have in our mind, each thing that we see, so, so for instance, a bicycle, a car, you know, just anything, that there's only a few neurons that are involved in the process and they fire in a specific pattern and the majority don't fire. So just to recap, specificity coding just suggests that there's a single neuron and the single neuron is able to recognize a specific item. Population coding, a lot of different neurons are involved in understanding what it is that we see. And sparse coding is that there's a group of neurons, but not all that many are involved in understanding what we see. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.